Hello and welcome to this brief demonstration of live screenings for program sessions on the conference website. Once you have followed a link to a session from the program, you will arrive to see it in one of four states. I'm going to show you what to expect and how to interact with the web page in each case. If you arrive very early for a session, you will be greeted with a message, as you can see on screen now, indicating that the screening has not yet started and you should either check back later or stay and refresh your screen at the advertised start time listed. Unless you're very early, you're more likely to arrive at the page looking like this. In this case, the screening has opened. Scroll down to bring the screening into view and click on the green Join Screening button. You will then join the screening and the screening chat. You can see at this time that the screening has not started because it says waiting to begin at the top of the chat window. Once you're here, you can post thoughts or comments to other attendees who have joined the screening using the chat box. Simply type your message and then press enter or use the send icon. If you would like to know who else is currently with you in the screening, you can use the people tab at the top. Click on it to see a list of other attendees. In addition, if you make a mistake and you would like to edit one of your chat comments, you can use the pencil icon next to your comment. Click on it. It will bring up the edit box, make your change, and then press enter or use the send icon. Lastly, if you make a comment that you would like to remove, click on the X next to the comment and your message will be deleted. The third tab at the top is the Q&A tab. It is intended for formal questions and answers during the live screening. If you would like to pose a question, click on the Q&A tab at the top, then click the ask question button. You can then type your question and press enter or use the send icon. Once you have done so, you will see that your question is added to the Q&A tab. If you would like to answer your own question or anyone else's question, you can do so by clicking on the chat bubble icon next to the question. An answer pop-up will appear where you can type your answer. Once you have typed your answer, press enter or use the send icon you will see that your answer is attached to the question. Just like with chat, if you would like to edit one of your questions or answers, you can use the pencil icon, or if you would like to delete your question or answer, you can use the X icon. Any attendee who has joined the screening can pose questions and answer questions. When it is time, the first presentation in the session will start automatically, as you have just seen. Once a presentation starts playing, if you mouse over the video, you can turn on or off the closed captions with the closed caption button, mute the volume with the mute button, or adjust the volume with the volume slider. As the presentation plays, the transcript will automatically appear. You can scroll back up at any time to read the transcript from what has previously played. When a presentation ends, the next presentation in the session will automatically start, as you are about to see. A live screening is a live event, meaning that you cannot pause or stop the screening. You are, however, encouraged to engage in chat and questions and answers with your fellow attendees and presenters as you are watching the presentations. When the last presentation in a screening has ended, a few seconds later, a link to Zoom will appear that you can click on to join a live Zoom Q&A with the other attendees and panelists who are part of the live screening. Simply click on the large Zoom logo or the Zoom link on the screen to open Zoom and join that meeting. Finally, if you join a session after it has already started, when you scroll down to join the live screening, you will join the screening at its current position in time. The Zoom link will still appear at the end of the session for you to join the Q&A session. In addition, if you show up after all presentations have already played, the Zoom link will still be displayed so that you can join the ongoing live Q&A conversation. If you arrive at the session page after the live screening and Zoom Q&A have completed, you will still be able to watch all of the presentations which were part of the session on demand. They will be listed on the screen for you to click on and go watch. If you run into an error or lose your connection during a live screening, the easiest way to recover is to simply refresh your screen. Once you've done that, you can rejoin the screening and it will pick up right where it is in time. 
Live screenings will work on all major browsers and devices. However, we do not recommend using a mobile device as there is not enough screen space to watch a video, chat, and participate in a Q&A to get the full experience. It does, however, work in a pinch. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your sessions.